This shape is fairly tricky. We have three triangles here. So we have this big triangle there. I'll call that the big triangle. We have this medium sized triangle here. I'll call that the medium angle triangle. And then we have the small triangle there. So with the angles of this triangle, this is angle M. That exists in two of the triangles. This is angle K. That exists in two of the triangles. Now, if this, in the small triangle here, this angle is 90, which means this angle must be M. In the medium triangle, if this angle is M, then this angle must be K. We can use this to find our lengths. So, in the big triangle, we are given length. In, in the triangle, we're given length LM. This is 8. LM is the side that goes between K and M for the medium triangle, and it's the side that goes between 90 and M for the big triangle. This angle here is, this length here is 6 for the medium triangle. So in this medium triangle here, this is the side that goes from 90 to M. In the big triangle, this is the side that goes from 90 to M. So from the big, so from 90 to M on the big triangle, we have 8. From 90 to M on the medium triangle, we have 6. big triangle. So Km is here, the hypotenuse of the big triangle, and this is our x. So this is x, and then 8 it is Lm, which is the hypotenuse of the medium triangle. So this one is 8. Rearranging this, or solving on the calculator now, get menu, algebra, and solve full of our quotient. We've got 8 over 6 is equal to x over 8. x over, over 8. Solve for x. You want to have it as a fraction because it's often going to ask you to put this as a fraction. Press menu, number, approximate the fraction. 32. X is equal to 32 over 3. Have a go at the Excel activities. So I won't look. 